Hello and welcome to the Railway Man episode 101, is it? Flippin' heck! <laughs> yeah, uh, this is the first Football Manager video I've recorded today, at least. Uh, I've been quite sick recently, but back to work now. Uh, played one game, beat Everton 1-0, Pivovarov. Uh, Wow, how is he deteriorating? Oh, I tried to get this are so bad. Oh, anyway, Stad Louis the Second Stadium in Monaco. Oh, it actually has it down as Monaco. That's quite cool. Uh, for the UEFA Super Cup against West Brom. The Cocktail versus West Brom, people. European Super Cup. Uh. Let's put Michael Duff on the bench, shall we? That makes a bit more sense. Uh, can I have a Duff or Gun play? He can play on the right. He can play up front. See, so Isaac Clare is a left winger. We don't play with wingers, so... Makes sense to have two strikers in a two-striker formation. Uh, I've got Nsoki, who's making his debut. Come on, West Brom, you're better than this. Solia, who, again, they signed this season. Like, he's now a central midfielder. I always think of him as, like, a right winger, maybe even an up-front type. I guess he is more of a right mid, but... Yeah, playing central midfield now. I guess he's quite old, so... How are his physicals? Oh, okay. Caramo, again, quite old, but his physicals are still alright. He is definitely more of a forward. Uh, Ampadu? Yeah, not bad. Well, Mannion? Hey. Alright. And then Hurst. Bloody hell. Academy graduate from season one, pretty much. He's now 27. Huh. We're quite a lot better than West Brom. With all due respect, of course. I've played them twice in this episode, so... That could come back to bite me saying that we're better. They've got Brun Larson. Dolberg. Wow, I'm surprised he's not starting. We are dominating. Oh, cool. To Hughes. Disich. Caramo. Oh, what a save. And what a clearance of Gasto. Solia. Eclatter. Dimba. We did relatively... But West Brom, they seem quite energetic, these lads. Eclatter. Great challenge, though. Just no one really in support. Caramo. Big tackle. Dimba. Forward towards Pivovarov. We're not really getting the ball down and playing. Particularly well. Adam deserved that. Good goal, but... Oh. 
That's sickening. <laughs> oh, God, come on, we're better than this. Pivovarov. Puts it wide. The Ukrainian did score in the last game, but the first two games have not been overly impressed. Mannion. Augusta back to Malay. Malay out to Victor. Here's Pivovarov. Goal! Alexei Pivovarov! One thing I just want to have a look at. We are quite direct. I think we should just go standard, you know? As much as this one worked, you know, I don't want to just hoof it every time we get the ball. Got a bit lucky with the rebound, but you'll take it. There we go. That was very good movement. I've, I've criticised him a bit. You know, I was expecting a lot better, and he's his, all his stats are deteriorating, but... Oh, training for some, this is this is why I don't like this series because the training facilities are so terrible. It ruins every player. Jose, Eklana, Nunes, Wood. Yep, good ball, Jean Victor. Acres of space. They had so long to pick out a cross, and that's the one he got. Bloody hell. Eklena. I still can't pronounce his name. Dimba. Ekenla. Surely. Caught. Puts it wide. Ekelna with a good cross. Ekelna. It's not that hard. Ekelna. How, why are we playing at a 16,000 capacity stadium, by the way? Just, I'm just, just saying. That's how many season tickets we've sold this year. We have a tiny stadium, and that was that was selling out our season ticket allocation. Uh, really? Have we really not done anything until the last 15 minutes? We're not going to lose. I'm pretty sure, because West Brom haven't done anything. No. Oh my god. <laughs> They've had five shots all game, and three of them have been highlights. Just West Brom things, eh? They didn't come here to play football. We're going to bring on Trabi. Akelma. Yeah, Connacht doesn't score. <laughs> For a striker who scores a huge amount of goals, he doesn't score headers. Well, there are so many sitters that Connacht misses. Which is hugely frustrating. But. Oh, what a block! I assume we go to extra time. Good, we go to extra time. It was very disappointing. Come on. Let's go back to more direct. Nice bit of play. Come on, Dimba. Out to Traub. Decent cross, Nunes. Look at the pressure. But actually, the football is really good. Dimba. Oh. <laughs> Jose Roberto! Come on, Diddy! 
I have to admit, I'm enjoying this. We're playing some deep, even though we're not playing, we're almost, well, the result's not going our way. We're playing some stuff that I really appreciate, let's say. The football is good. Team. Uh, I don't know when the last time we had a penalty shootout in this series was. Same with the European Tour, I don't remember penalties. I might have had one with Michel and in the European Tour. I don't know if we've gone to penalties in a video in this series, but it looks like that's how, where we're headed. Come on, Malay. Big goalkeeping. It's a good pen. Collar. Oh. Don't. <clears throat> yes. Go on, Malay! What a save, Dimba. He's a very good penalty taker. And scores! Calm as you like, we lead 2-1. Two penalties taken. El Arabi for West Bromwich Albion. Scores! Sends Malay the wrong way. Here's Pivovarov. Scored our goal in normal time. Buries his penalty. Convincing. Here is Ampadu, the centre-back. West Brom do not have the players for this. Proven there! Penalty saved. We have a chance to win. It'll be Nunez. Nunez? Nunez? Because it's a Z in Spanish? I don't know. But Nunez, we have a chance... To win us the European Super Cup, up steps are signing from Real Madrid. One of the best players in the world. Carlos Nunez scores! Come on! Whew. That was that was more difficult than it ever should have been, but come on. Oh, just I, I oh, there's nothing better than a team that's good at penalties. But we are bloody good at penalties against a team like West Brom. They don't stand a chance because our goalkeeper's great. And the rest of our players are great. Extra four million. That is quite useful. Uh, first game back at Didcot Stadium as well. 18,000 capacity. Are we improving it? <coughs> Improve youth. Expand stadium. Done on 11th of January. Okay. How much are we? Planned expansion is going to go up to about 25,000, I believe. Oh, look how many tro different trophies we've won. Super Cup's another one. Anyway, I'm going to see you back for the West Bromwich Albion game again. Hopefully it can be a bit more comfortable. Fingers crossed. 
Right, so, let's do this. Game two against West Brom. Uh, we're relatively fit. We're obviously going to go and change because we only really have one first team. And I'm going to go with a long ball tactic. You know what? You stick by it. Uh, oh, God. That's hideous. But welcome back to the Dickon Stadium. It's bloody massive. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my God. Look. That's cool. Oof. Oh, it's, no, the, yeah, this one is the George Andrews stand. Is it? Or is it that I can't remember? Because we have the Great Western stand, we have the George Andrews stand, we have the Callum McNish stand. Oh, no, 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 okay. Let's just, let's just avoid that scenario. <coughs> Bring on Traub. They, they pretty much went unchanged and they trained all week, so they are exhausted compared to us. But again... How do you break this bloody... Oh, voice cracking off. How do you break this bloody team down? It's just the most West Brom thing ever, isn't it? It just is. Look at that, it's a sea of red. Pivovarov. Augusto! Where are the away fan? Oh, there they are. Sitting in the Great West... Is it the Great Western Stand? Yeah. Finally. And it was Mario Augusto. Is he the skipper? I think he might be. Yeah, no, he is. Captain Fantastic, eh? That is a horrific view. <laughs> Why is there so much corrugated iron? It's mental. And why of all the areas are we working on the away stand? <coughs> Good interception, Pivovarov. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, I enjoyed that one. What a goal by Alexei Pivovarov. Wins the ball. Skins him. And just... Buries it. I like Pivovarov. He's quite good. What a signing. Jose Roberto. Gonzalez. Dimba! Oh, what a ball by Gonzalez! The composure. Was so many times you just see the player lose it. But Kevin Gonzalez has the composure to just take a touch, play the perfectly weighted pass into the path of Dimba, who makes it 3 0. Brilliant second half performance, and maybe a chance for four. Nunez, Dimba. Ball out to Traub. Good touch. Caught. Scores! Francois Collot buries the header. Finally, he scores a header. And West Brom have fallen apart in the second half. West Brom are in the Champions League. Like, this is a top seven club. <coughs> Where are they now? Still mid-table, I think. What a win! What an episode!
Oh, I bloody love the railway man, I do. Uh, Pivovarov. What a goal. I've had so many great strikers this year, it's going to be so hard to do a team at Rouge Team of the Year when we get to the end of 2019. <coughs> Big win! When do we come back? Big win. Oh, Arsenal and Chelsea, definitely. And then we'll have, probably, Man United Champions League. That would make sense, but then maybe City Champions League, Tottenham Champions There are a lot of video ideas. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. I've been Ruse DC17. Cheerio.